Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to update your iPhones and unlock it, activate it, and jailbreak it using WinPond 2.5.0.2 uh, to firmware 2.0.2. Uh, you must use iTunes 7.7 again. Um, this is for Windows only. So, let's here we go. So, firstly, create a folder on your desktop called Punch. And have the and you must have the following files in that folder. Bootloader 4.6, bootloader 3.9. bin files, the 2.0.2 restore firmware, the setup for the WinPon, and what are so um and and I provided the links to download these files on the more inf under the more info section. Go to WinPon. WinPon. And uh, see right here where it says expert picture is on. This is better. Then, since we're going to be using the first generation iPhones, click the first generation iPhone. Then, click the 2.0.2. Click next. Then, it'll ask you do you want to unlock the iPhone? Obviously, yes. So, click the green thumb. Do you want to delete boot noodle? Click the green thumb again. Do you want to activate the iPhone? Click the green thumb again. Do you want to install YouTube activation? Click the green thumb again. Then I'll ask you, do you want to install Cydia? Yes. Install it for, it's your choice, but I would say no. Uh, root, do you want to resize the root partition? Yes. Do you want to wipe data? No. Do you want to use custom boot, logo, boot restore logos? Uh, again, this is your option, your, your choice, but I'm going to click no. Resize the partition to 700 MB, and then click next. Then uh, look for the files. Then a pop-up window will show up to ask you where do you want to save the file. Then go to the desktop, go to your punish folder, and click save. Then it'll start saving. It will show you messages here. Sorry for the blurriness, I'm using my webcam. So yeah, it's building the custom IPSW file. It's creating a custom firmware, that's basically what it means. And off to the right, on this little window here, I'll tell you what it's doing. Uh, this takes around, say, maybe five minutes, approximately, or less. Um, yeah. and after you've done, after you created the firmware, you have to restore it to iTunes 7.7. Again, you must have iTunes 7.7 in order to do this. Rebuilding root file system. It'll say this will take a while. Again, this will probably take around five to five minutes or less, depending on your speed. Also take a while, as mentioned on, um, in the video. Um, so basically, it's almost done. Um, so after this is done, you'll have to put your phone into DFU mode, and it'll, and the program will show you how to put in the phone into DFU mode. Give you an option. If you want it to launch a guide to put into DFU mode. There, it's done. Your iPhone turned off and connected to the USB. If not, please connect it to the USB and turn it off. Okay, then let's click yes, click OK, and then um, hypothetically speaking, if it, uh, my phone is not in here, but when you're, when you're doing this, uh, follow the directions to this, and then it'll go. It'll give you how long to hold it, and so forth. Press and hold down the home and power button for such and such time. And
Let me show them, they be want it Two in the morning, I'm zoning And them rose bottles foaming She wouldn't stop, made it drop Shorty did that pop and lock Had to break her off that crop Yeah, I was fine just like okay. a glide Uh, this is only showing up because I don't have my phone connected Because I already have it updated in jailbroken So I don't want to go through the restore process but um, you'll get a different message, and after you get it successfully done, it'll say you've successfully put your phone into DFU mode. It'll be iTunes, and then you know how, as always, uh, your iPhone will pop up here, such and such iPhone, or however you named it. Then you um, your phone will be in DFU mode, you'll get a notice, and to know that your phone is in DFU mode, your phone will be completely turned off, it'll be in black, it'll be a black screen, you won't, even if you press the button, it won't turn on. And then um, what you have to do is that like then the iTunes say uh, your phone has been detected in recovery mode. You hold down the shift key, hold on the shift key, then then you press the restore button on iTunes, and then um, search for the custom firmware, which is which it should be in the Ponish folder. Okay, and then then the restore will take place. And after it's done, your phone will be rebooted, and bam, there you have it. You have your iPhone into the second latest firmware, which is 2.0.2. Um, again, as mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, this video has been edited, and, um, and and I provided the links to get those files, like the bootloader files, the custom for. Uh, the iPhone firmware file, the iTunes 7.7 .7 file, and so forth, and so forth. Yeah. So, um, thank you for watching. Please comment this video and subscribe. And um, as for the people who followed my directions on the previous video on for firmware 2.0.1, I apologize for the links not working. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't work, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Bye.